Welcome to this video that answers the question, what is the difference between an expression and an equation? This might seem like a trivial question, but it often very much confuses students. So let's look at this table that compares and contrasts expressions and equations. The most important difference is that expressions cannot be solved, while equations can be solved. And the way to know whether you're dealing with an expression or an equation, the way to know whether you can or cannot solve is whether it contains an equal sign. So as you can see in the example of the equation, there is an equal sign and there's an expression on either side. Since there's an equal sign there, I can solve for x. I can use algebraic properties to get x all by itself and find the value of x that satisfies this equation. However, if I look over here at my expression, I can't solve it because there's no equal sign. What can I do with an expression if I can't solve it? What we can do is we can simplify equations. So if you're working on a problem and it's an expression, keywords that will be in the directions might say simplify or it might say perform the indicated operation. For example, in this expression, the indicated operation, of course, is just addition. So what you would do, of course, is just find the common denominator and add the two expressions together. Over here, you're still using algebra, but again, you are um, going to be able to solve. So what is the final result of an expression is a simplified expression. Okay, so your final answer should just be, uh, you know, another expression, right, some, something that probably contains x or some variable, right, that's just simplified, that you've kind of done something to. Okay, what should your final answer be for an equation? Well, your final answer should be x equals something or whatever variable you have. You're asked to solve for the variable, so you should be able to list the value or values that satisfy that equation. Of course, sometimes um, there is no solution. That's also a possibility. Right? When you are asked to solve, sometimes you could have that. Um, so again, right, if with an expression, if you're asked to simplify or to perform the indicated operation with an expression, you should end up your, um, with an answer that's a simplified expression. It should basically still contain a variable. Okay, that's the key here. Okay, however, if you're asked to solve, right, you're asked to solve for x or y or whatever variable they're using, right, you should end up with the variable equals something, right? Sometimes you have one solution, sometimes you have multiple solutions, sometimes you have no solution, right? But you should have x equals something or b equals something, whatever your variable is.